Essential Foam Teardown Repair Guide. Warning, you're performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you'll need a nylon spudger, SIM card ejection tool, fine tip curved tweezers, precision knife set, premium two millimeter red adhesive roll, multi-purpose heat gun, Phillips screwdriver, playing cards, power down your essential phone, Eject the nano SIM card tray. The 5.71 inch essential foam display assembly is glued on solidly and is a tight fit within the frame. Apply heat to soften the adhesive. With the precision knife, create enough space to insert a playing card. Use the playing card to slice and pry through the adhesive and carefully decouple the screen from the phone. The display assembly is still connected to the essential phone, so don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Remove the following two Phillips screws, securing the display cable. Detach the cable from the motherboard and free the essential phone LCD panel. Remove the following eight Phillips screws. Lift the flexible essential phone mid-frame shield to reveal the internal components. Remove the falling Phillips screw and small metal bracket. Disconnect the essential phone battery cable. Locate the two peel to remove adhesive tabs at the top of the essential foam battery. Slowly and gently pull each strip up and away from the phone. And just like that, out comes the 3040 milliampere hour 4.4 volt battery. Remove the following nine Phillips screws and the small brackets stay secure in place. Remove the small piece of tape covering the loudspeaker cable connector. Use the flat end of a spudger to flip the tab on the ribbon cable ZIF connector upward. Detach the cables from the essential foam motherboard. Carefully pry the massive motherboard up and out of the rear case.
remove the following two Phillips screws. Extract the highly touted dual 13 megapixel essential phone rear facing camera module. Remove the small rubber gasket, then spudge up the front facing sensor cable. Remove the following Phillips screw. The 8 megapixel front facing camera and earpiece speaker come as a single part. Use a spudger to free the assembly from the strip of glue securing it to the rear case. Remove the falling Phillips screw and then decap the vibrator. Tweeze out the standard pancake style vibrator. Remove the falling Phillips screw. Easily extricate the sprawling loudspeaker and accompanying contact cable. Remove the falling four Phillips screws. Use the tweezers to lift out the essential phone power and volume buttons cable.
All the replacement parts and repair tools used in the video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials.